been Buku's more great days and good days in this state than you can ever imagine from my standpoint. Now, with all that being said, it's been an honor beyond belief to be with all of you. And I have said this over and over, and I mean it. We, we have pulled the rope together, and we have made so much goodness happen, it's unbelievable. Now, you needed somebody as a coach or somebody that had this wild, creative thinking that believed in all of you just as much as I have. And I've done just that. So with all that being said today, and please forgive the props, but uh, the props, you know, are part of us. You know, I, I can tell you that uh, if you want to just think of the mathematics and think of where we are, just think of this. What could we do in the state of West Virginia that would drive more growth to West Virginia than cut our personal income tax? What could we possibly do? And if anybody says there's something that could drive more growth to West Virginia than that, you're, you're out of your mind. Now, the other flip side of it is, just imagine just this. This is another 2%. And this ceremonial signing of this bill, and I hope I don't blow away, but if I blow away, y'all are going to be way off the end. And I'm going to be bringing up the rear. So I hate that crazy idea couldn't bring Baby Dog, but Baby Dog has been running all over the country with me and uh, trying to ensure something that I truly believe with all my heart. And I really do believe this, but I believe that this country is on the craziest pathway right now that we could possibly be on. And I do believe that there's a real chance for change, and I think that's going to happen. And I think that's right around the, the corner. But, but I was asked to try to help and do what I could, and, and really and truly I don't flatter myself and say, oh, yeah, big, you know, big Jim Justice or Jim Justice is making a big difference, really. Are you kidding me? You know, at the end of the day, I'm just doing my part to try to help. And, uh, and just and if I can do that and feel good about it, and not only that, it may actually help some. You know, this thing could come down on Tuesday to just 100 votes one way or another. And literally, at the end of the day, I want to absolutely step up and try to do all I could possibly do. With all that being said, baby dog's out of gas. That's all there is to it. And, and she has gone with me and said hi to all hundreds and hundreds of people and, and all that's been just great, but, uh, but she's had it. I mean, that's all there's to it. But now let me go back to this just one second. Imagine this 2% represents $46 million. Now here's how I feel about it, and I feel just as strong as I could possibly feel about anything is this. This isn't the, the end-all, do-all for Toby and Edith out there, and I always refer to Toby and Edith as our voters and everything, but, but really and truly, what does this do? Do you realize that for all practical purposes now in the state of West Virginia, from a cash standpoint and other things, in the state of West Virginia, we have amassed an absolute amount of monies that are in the system right now that are available and everything to the tune of in excess of 2.5 billion dollars that's our rainy day funds the pit funds on and on and on and i'm not going to go into all that and say more we just appropriated 500 plus million dollars you know of those dollars but with all that being said, this represents 46 million. Well, if you take 46 million and you divide it into 2.5 billion, it comes to this represents 1 54th 
of the dollars that we have that are just laying all over the place now in surplus and surplus and surplus and surplus. This represents 1 54th. Do T Toby and Edith not deserve 1 54th? I mean, really and truly? And with all that being said, forget that just a second. And let's just think just about just this. We are sending a message to the world that West Virginia is on a pathway of getting rid of their personal income tax. What's that worth? What's it worth? For God's sakes of living, it's worth so much it's off the chart. So in other words, what we've done is we've said, okay, Toby and Edith, we're going to mine the store properly, and we're going to make dadgum sure that absolutely, we absolutely have all the dollars to absolutely make this state continue to prosper in every way. But we're going to give you back 154th, basically, of the monies that we have in all the buckets all over the place. Now, from Toby and Edith's standpoint, also what we're going to do is we're going to send a signal to the world and we're going to continue to send that signal that we're going to get rid of our personal income tax in West Virginia. When <clears throat> When we awaken to the day that we've gotten rid of 50%, now what we've done is we've gotten rid of 21 and a quarter, four, and two more, 27 and change. When we awaken to the day that we're 50% we're or greater, I'm serious as I can be, you can't imagine the goodness is right around the corner. And you can't imagine the goodness that is already happening all around the globe in West Virginia. If you'll just look at all the economic development and all the stuff that's going on, and, and I'm not going to sit here and braggadociously say anything to you other than just this. You know, when we walked in the door, and from the standpoint of no matter who it may be, it may be you complain, or it may be the media write something, or this or that, or whatever it may be. No matter who it is, you've got to be living in a cave to not think what's happened in the last eight years in this state is unflat believable. We've gone from being so broke it's un unthinkable to the fact that what we've got is we've got surplus dollars beyond belief. We've got our roads going like crazy. We absolutely were, were frogs that were proud, proud of their own pond and tourism has exploded. It just goes on and on and on. We've cut taxes and I say we, we in our great legislature, we have cut taxes now 26 times. 26 times we've cut taxes. Absolutely. That sign right up there and all this to me is somewhat unexpected. I mean, I drove in here and I didn't even see the sign. And then I looked and I said, my God, how did you get that up there? But you just think, those dollars are annual dollars. Those dollars, if you absolutely equate them all across the board, are happening over and over and will happen, happen over and over. There's no sunset to it. There is absolutely over and over they will happen and absolutely those dollars right there are helping put Thanksgiving dinner on the table because grocery prices are so high. They're helping with Christmas presents. They're helping absolutely with college tuitions. They're helping all across the board with everything. That's us. And absolutely, it's nice for me to sit here and act like, you know, or, and I hope to God above you don't believe this, but I don't want any part of acting like this has been a gym show. You need a leader of the band, but really and truly, this is a all of us show. And you should all be really proud. I couldn't possibly be more proud. You know, there was a day, and Rebecca, where's my little silver bladder deal? Well, I, I'm not going to climb down there and get it. <laughs> D 
do you remember when we had a silver platter and we had a budget and I didn't think it was worth really having and really there was there was all kinds of issues and you may give me a hard time about different things and everything but uh, but really and truly at the end of the day you had to have somebody that would stand up and somebody that said no nope, that's not good enough that's not good enough for us and absolutely we want to go a different direction so today as we sign this today now you think we've got to continue to mind the store don't we we can't possibly not mind the store but there was a day underneath that little silver deal there that there was some cow dupe wasn't there there was a day of that and today today in this great state on this incre in this cre incredible day today look what we got here today we got gold the cow dupe went away and today we got gold bars and in just a few minutes you know between all my staff and everything they've come up with this and then they came up with a, 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 another thing you know today's halloween of all things and i hope to goodness all of you go trick-or-treating with a kid and i'll promise you i'll be trick-or-treating absolutely right there at my house and grant and and, and and greet many 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 tens and tens and tens of children tonight with all that being said baby dog will be there we'll have to try to some way keep the chocolate away from baby dog we've had a couple of bouts of that but with all that being said, get out and be with children. Love and be with children. For God's sakes, a living, it's why I coach. It's why I do what I do. I am telling you, you can't fathom the impact you will have on children. Go do it. Enjoy tonight. Enjoy absolutely an incredible night that they'll have and everything. But just know just this, that all of us, Today, all of us, through the days that we've done, from right absolutely, when a state of the state address and a guy stood up and said, absolutely, we need to put a stake in the sand right now to make education our centerpiece. Why'd I do that? I did that absolutely. We got a long ways to go on education. We all know that. We all know that. But the outside world had to quit thinking of West Virginia as backward and all the bad things about West Virginia. We had to change who we are as an image. And lo and behold, we took off. We did take off on this rocket ship ride. And I would say to you, my God, live and keep it going. So a bunch of you, if you come up here, we'll take our pictures and come on, come on up here. I'll sign, I'll sign this. And <laughs> you can't have one of those gold bars. <laughs> okay. I know all this is going to blow away here, but...
signing tax cuts and he wants me to vote for a couple more of these when we get to